Our next spotlight talk is going to be presented by Zhilu Zhang. Um, and uh, this talk is titled Generalized Cross Entropy Loss for Noisy Labels. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Zilu, and today I'll be presenting to you about uh, our work on generalized cross entropy loss for training deep neural networks with noisy labels. Um, deep neural networks have achieved tremendous success in numerous tasks. However, they often require a large amount of la clean labeled data, which can be very expensive to obtain. Moreover, it has been recently demonstrated that training neural networks with the widely used cross entropy loss can lead to a significant overfitting to noisy labels. In light of this, we propose a loss function for training neural networks for noisy labels. As a background introduction, a loss function is symmetric if the sum of losses with respect to all ground truth label classes is a constant. It was pre previously um, shown that symmetric loss can be tolerant to noisy labels. Mean absolute, mean absolute error was thus proposed for training, classific uh, for training neural networks uh, with probabilistic output in the presence of label noise because it's a symmetric loss function. On the contrary, the widely used cross entropy loss is not symmetric. However, despite the theoretical guarantees, mean absolute error can lead to poor performance of classification accuracy. To see this, we empirically examined the performance of mean absolute error against cross entropy using ResNet on CIFAR 10 for clean labeled data. Um, the orange and blue curve shows the test accuracy against, against number of epochs for both the cross, uh, mean, cross entropy and mean absolute error. Not only does using mean absolute error uh, lead to a much slower convergence, but there is also a slight decrease in test accuracy. The phenomenon is much more significant um, when using more difficult data sets like CIFAR 100. Using mean absolute error, the highest accuracy achieved is around 38% in 2,000 epochs, and cross entropy achieved a much better performance after seven epochs. On one hand, we have cross entropy loss, which has good convergence properties, but prone to label noise. And on the other hand, we have mean absolute error, which is more noise robust, but have bad convergence properties. In this work, we propose to use the negative of box Cox transformation as a loss function. What's resulting is a set of loss functions with a parameter Q. When Q is set to be one, it is equivalent to mean absolute error with probabilistic output, and on a limit of Q equal to zero, it is equivalent to cross entropy loss. Although LQ loss is not symmetric, it has bounded sum of losses for non-zero Qs, and the larger the Q value, the tighter the bound. In this work, we showed that the tighter the bound the more noise robust the loss function. However, larger Q is not always preferred. To see this, we empirically examined the behavior of LQ loss with various values of Q using ResNet on CIFAR 10 for, with manually injected noise. The curves show the plot of test accuracy against the number of epochs. As seen clearly from the orange curve, when trained with cross entropy, the model starts overfitting very soon. Training with increased Q values delayed overfitting phenomena so that more useful features can be learned and higher accuracy is achieved. However, if too large of a Q value is used, the model, overfit, uh, the model converges too slowly. Hence, there is a optimal value, there's a trade-off for optimal value of Q, and empirically we found that Q equal to 0 0.7 has been effective for all our experiments. Um, the optimal Q value can be found by cross-validation. Recall that uh, the loss functions with more bounded sum of losses lead to a more uh, noise robust loss function. Based on this observation, we also proposed the truncated LQ loss function, which lead to tighter bound and hence more noise robustness. The truncated LQ loss is essentially the normal LQ loss if the probability output is above a certain threshold K and a constant otherwise. In practice, we used alternative convex search algorithm for optimization with the loss function. Lastly, we empirically examined the performance of a proposed loss functions using ResNet on various data sets with manually injected noise and achieved consistent improvement over both cross entropy and mean absolute error. The uh, bar charts on the right illustrates a small part of our um, result. Thank you very much for your attention, and I hope to see our, our poster number 101. With that, we've come to the end of the session. I'd like to thank all the speakers and the attendees. And in particular, I'd like to thank Chinmay Singh from Microsoft Research and Michael Yudzolino from University of Colorado Boulder for helping keep things on time. Thank you all.